Hello, in this video we are going to take a button widget that is constructed as part of a class and we're going to bind to it a function so that when we click it, it does something. So I've taken the same code that I used with the GUI button class video and it's really, again, it's very similar to what we did if we weren't in a class. But the key thing is here is I'm actually now going to write the actual function inside the class. So I'm going to say def and I'm going to call this on click. And you'll notice that when I completed the parentheses, it put the word self in there. This is the key thing. I need that word self in there in order for this to be part of the class. And this actually is really nice because what happens now is that by doing it this way, um, it's going to save a lot of problems in terms of passing things around. So for now, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to print button clicked. And again, I'm just going to say command equals on click or self dot on click. And if I run this now, I bring this down into here, works fine for button one, doesn't work for button two. So all I have to do to solve this problem is command equals self dot on click. And I run this now, button one works, we see down here, button clicked, button two works, we see it's clicked. And finally, um, if I wanted to distinguish between buttons, which is commonly something we want to do, um, I could create multiple functions, ensuring that it's contained in the class, and I do that just by ensuring it's indented properly, or I could use that lambda command again. So I'm going to use the lambda command. And that essentially says, listen, I want to pass a parameter with it. I'm going to pass this 1, pass this 2. Now, if I do this initially, you'll, you'll see something funny is going to happen. It comes up. Ooh, bring it down. And as soon as I click, I get an error. The error that I'm getting is that you'll see that I'm passing a parameter into here, but this definition, this function, doesn't have a parameter with it. That self isn't, is, is, a parameter that has to be there, but I have to indicate a variable to hold that parameter. So I'm going to come down here, self, and I'm going to say args, and I'm going to write that simple if statement. If args is equivalent to one, we're going to print button one clicked. If args is equivalent to two, print button two clicked. I'm just going to clean that up. Now if I run this, bring this down into the frame, button one clicked, button two clicked. So there you go. Now you have these buttons and you've tied functions to them. Hope that helped. Have a great day.